pray all is well. Everybody's been doing good today. Y'all had a blessed day, wonderful day, productive day. Um, or y'all had a marvelous Monday. Marvelous Monday. Marvelous Monday. Or y'all had a marvelous Monday. It was real productive. Real productive. Hey, lady, how are you? How you been? God's day. What's up? What's up, Mr. Keyshawn? God's day. How y'all been? How was y'all with y'all? I say Wednesday. I sure wish it was Wednesday already. <laughs> uh, how was y'all Monday? Guys, hey, Kimmy, again, how was y'all Monday? How was y'all day today? We are productive. <laughs> we are productive. We are good today. Got some things done. Pretty good day today. I tried to make mine real productive. I hope I did. I hope mine was productive. Just working on it. How you been? Hey Keisha, how are you? How was your day today? How was your Monday? Were you productive today? You did something good today? You did something nice today? Y'all do something good, fun, or nice? I you know it's summertime, a lot of people are off and doing a little different things for the summer. So, if you one of them people, so <laughs> I'm happy for y'all. Maybe y'all had a good day. Mine was pretty good. It was pretty good. I tried to be productive. Hey, Miss Marsha, how are you? I tried to be productive today. I hope I was. I told you I tried to set a goal for myself on getting things done. Sometimes it work. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I think I was pretty productive today. Hopefully I was. Um, but I try to set a, a goal for myself and reach my goal every day. Um, with different things, not just work, but other stuff I have going on. Just be trying to pre be productive for that. Set a goal and I pray prayerfully I make it. Um, I, was, I was sitting up here laughing at my own self. You know how you re you do stuff and you don't realize you do it? So you try to... Um, <laughs> a lot of people... Some people know I do, but some people do, don't know. Like the strange things you do, especially while you while you driving. Like I drive with my big toe. Anybody else do that? <laughs> I was thinking about that because I was just driving this. And I was like, I really do do that. <laughs> like, that's it. I, right foot. It's, it's the correct foot. Good. Yeah, that's what I, it's just. It was just something I was thinking of a few minutes ago. I was like, that is really weird. I don't know. I think I heard somebody else say they do that. It was like, no, nah, that's not weird because I do it too. I was like, oh, okay, because I really do. Like, even if I got my shoes on, on or off, I'm still going, hey, Juana, how are you, lady? I'm going to still um, drive with my big toe. I was just thinking about that just then. So don't mind me. Don't mind me. I thought that was funny. That was funny for me. Um, but I was going to say, um, I pray y'all had a good Monday. How was your, your day today, Awana? How was your day? 
Were you productive today? Did you do something good and nice for somebody today? How was your day? I'm doing pretty good. I'm tired, but I'm I'm doing pretty good. I'm hopefully one day soon I can catch up with some some type of rest, some type, some type of rest. But how was your Monday? y'all had a a marvelous Monday look like it's still gonna rain I don't know I pray it waits I get all the way home before it decides it wants to do that oh, okay well tell your mama I said hello tell them I said hello and how's my friend Brian tell him I said hello tell my friend Brian I said hi what's going on What's going on? And what do y'all have planned for the fourth? Me rest. Okay, sleep, rest. Rest. Um, but I pray y'all had a marvelous one day and everything was going good for y'all. And um, you were kind and nice to somebody today. Um, not letting people get to you. Get you down. Hey, Miss Sarah, how are you? Get you down and try to pull you out of your, your little element or whatever. Staying positive. Staying focused on what you need to be staying focused on. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Set a goal for yourself and challenge it. See if you can reach it. You done something last week that was kind of challenging? Boost it up a little bit. Add a little twist to it. Whatever challenge yourself to do something even better even greater and if you, you you feel like you don't challenge yourself for, for a minute for a good while get somebody else and say hey so challenge yourself to do a little something do it do a little bit better so it out small work your way up to doing something greater and something better you feel good about that doing something good you feel great about that y'all have some questions for me you definitely can ask me Messages. That is a question. I mean. <laughs> no, I didn't. I wanna don't shoot me. I'm gonna check my messages when I get to the house. I definitely will check my messages. Facebook. Cause I just if, if that's the case, um, I just turned that on maybe about an hour ago. My Facebook messages. By the way, because for one, I can't. Um, hey, Miss Ivy, how are you? <laughs> he ready to go. Um, oh, um, my phone is. That's why I'm not on my phone now. My, um, I've used up my storage, so I have to. I did a lot of recording picture taking portrait taking um um uh, over this past week and my storage even yesterday my storage is at its limit right now so i need to go and i'm just trying to make sure all my videos and pictures are backed up and so i can delete them off so a lot of apps i can't download right now until i delete some stuff off my phone if i can't text i can't check facebook I tried every time I check Facebook, it, it clicked me out of it because my storage is full. So, yeah, I do that when I get to the house. I just need to make it happen. I need to make it happen. I need to delete some stuff. I deleted a lot of apps. That's not, yeah, so it's, gonna, it's pictures and videos. Pictures and videos I have to delete. Um, so I'm, I've been working on that. But at this point, I can't pull up nothing. That's why I ain't posting nothing. Because I can't post nothing. It won't let me do anything anything so i'm trying to do everything for my ipad right now until i can get to it my apologies i'm gonna read it i promise i am my apologies because Samika asked me something else she was like did you see the message i sent you no <laughs> no i didn't see it so people send me messages i'm not getting them right now until i clear out 
some stuff out my phone, delete some messages, delete some uh, videos and pictures out of my phone. Pray for me. It's coming, though. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Um. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm gonna definitely check. Cause I, that's why I was at Waterburger this morning. I backed up out of Waterburger because I couldn't use my app. <laughs> Don't judge me if I can't scan my app to get my free points to get my my points and stuff. No, so I backed out of there. And it was just like that's okay. When I'm able to download my apps again, I'll be back. So yeah, it wouldn't it didn't do me no good to be at Waterburger this morning because I couldn't use my apps. I couldn't download it. So yeah, nothing is nothing is working besides on here. But it is what it is. I pray I had a good day. I was productive today. Um, everything is all good. Um, y'all already know that if you got something going on <laughs> for the time being, still send it to me. I get to it because um, I just can't pull it up. I can't share nothing. It won't let me click on Facebook. Every time I click on it, it blanks me out. So nothing is being shared or posted right now because of this phone story situation but still send me if you got some new information about your business or your your company or whatever still send me the new information updated information or tag me in your your post and i will see it i just yeah give me a minute and um yeah because this is stopping me from doing a whole lot of stuff i can't i can't do anything um but yeah still tag me in it or whatever um, y'all know somebody else is having something that's coming up, an event that's coming up, positive things, positive event or whatever that's coming up, let me know. And I would definitely um, share their information or post it or whatever um, so we can get the information out about whatever they're doing, supporting them. Um, and we will um, get the word out about them. Also, y'all know that Miss Tally Rogers is, trying, is doing... In a couple of months, she's getting ready to, to do her CD project, and um, we're looking to for everyone to donate at least five dollars to her um, CD um, project. If you can and will, if you don't have five, you got two fifty, you got a dollar, whatever you can, please um, help her out with that. The, um, her cash app. Uh oh, I heard thunder. <laughs> getting on to the house. Um, the cash app, her cash app is the dollar sign four five Tara Ministry T A R M I S T R Y, um, and that's for Miss Tally Rogers. Um, I posted a few of her videos so y'all can see her singing, her talent, or whatever, and y'all can see how she how she is. So you know this is for real. Um, but please go and support that. Also, um, I will have to see if she's doing it this Thursday. I don't know see why she wouldn't but um if she posts it i'll let y'all know if she posts it. if you don't already follow her on one of her pages uh tally rogers please go and uh, uh follow her her page on uh facebook but <coughs> excuse me <laughs> with thursday being <coughs> excuse me fourth of july i'm not sure if she's doing it this thursday but i'll find out and if she is i'll share it and y'all go and um, like her, follow her page, and share um, the information. But normally she does a um, singing contest to where you sing for 60 seconds from 6, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. is the time that she does it. And you give your best singing, your good voice. And one of you ought to, you ought to um, join in on that and sing. And the, for those that um, she have judges that you don't know who the judges are, she have different people looking at it. So go on there and sing um for 60 seconds and give give your best so that um and if you are one of the ones that she choose to sing you'll be able to sing on her upcoming album uh, upcoming record so please go and support that again if you don't want to sing but you just want to support other ways you can send a donation to um the dollar sign four or five tar ministry t-a-r m-i-n-i-s-t-r-y and support her in her CD, upcoming CD. Also, what's up, Brown? Brown, you got my product. <laughs> Listen, I thought about that after I got to the house. Do you have my stuff? <laughs> Listen, okay. But anyway, let me know. 
But anyway, um, go and support her. And y'all know I'll be telling y'all about that, and I'll post it to go as soon as I'm able to use my phone. I'll post it and share it so y'all can um, help donate or support um, her ministry, the CD Project Ministry. Um, what else I was about to tell y'all about that? Oh, um, y'all go and follow the guys more guys day page. Um, whispers in the pew go and follow that and got some old stuff that's on there that we have laughed and talked about and and had good conversation about go and follow that page and also supporting other people that have different businesses and different um uh, events that's happening and going on and we just want to share it and help somebody else out support somebody else and what they're doing positive especially if it's if it's for jesus we're definitely going to support them listen you got a whole because you, you better not hit me because you know you're wrong jesus people the nerve listen um but anyway uh people that are doing something supportive or great doing especially when like i said it's for jesus we want to support and do that i have some new stuff that i've seen on facebook that some of my friends are doing I will share it as soon as I get the chance to. After I have clear up some space on this phone, I will definitely um, share it. Y'all just be patient with me with that, but don't don't just just don't forget to tag me in it or inbox it to me. And when I reload, re-download all these apps and stuff, you'll see. Um, you will definitely see um, all the things that other people are doing. I wish y'all could see this. This man was trying to turn. Hey, Mr. J, how are you? He have a whole refrigerator hanging off the back of his truck, and he's just swinging in front of people. Lord Jesus, bless him. Um, but if y'all are doing something, any concert, any um, uh, y'all are prayer brunch, prayer breakfast, anything that's dealing with something positive, I don't mind sharing it if you send me the information, and I'll share it as much as I can until your event comes, the day of, or whatever. And y'all go and like my page. Have your friends, family, loved ones like the page. Guys Day, Whispers in the Pews. We talk about everything on there. I, it started out, my page started out as being guy, uh, Whispers in the Pews because I ain't going to give y'all the whole background on that because I'm still working on something with that. Um, but it, um, I learned from Miss Tyler, you don't tell everything that's going on because folks will try to take it and do it before you do. So i wait till the time is right for that but the other stuff um but i started out with that because there are things that <laughs> people don't like to talk about I, i'm always been that one to be up front about things that happen in real life i mean it happens in 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 church Mary! hey lady how are you i know i said i was gonna text you i am let me clear this phone out because i can't do nothing on this phone this phone is 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 the storage is full and i can't do anything it keep blanking me out of facebook that's why i ain't posting nothing that's why i ain't text nobody that's why i ain't kind nobody. my phone is just it's just because i need to clear out some videos i've been doing a lot of videos and taking portraits and stuff all over so i got you but um i'm doing good i'm doing good hold on y'all hold the line my husband calling hello <laughs> What's up, husband? Mr. J. Stick said he wants you to locate. He wants to talk to you. He, I don't know, baby. He just told me to tell you he wants to talk to you. Yes.
mirror say now Bishop Collins know you he see you on live <laughs> Mary yeah she said now she now he know he see you on live <laughs> I'll be home in a second. I can come around this curve down here. Oh, 175. All right, I'll be there in a second. Let's go. <laughs> Mary, he said he didn't see it. He just figured. <laughs> he said he didn't, he didn't see it, but he figured. Um, but as I was saying, y'all have an event. That's coming up, a concert. Um, people, you want you want support from from other people? Please go and um, send it to me, like my page, and send me the information so that I can um, share it. Have my friends and family share it on their end or whatever to get the word out to help support you. Um, but I was talking about the guys, the guys, um, whispers in the pews. Which way that started out? It started out as just being real talk about church pretty much what it is people like to sugarcoat things when it comes down to stuff that happens and they shh, don't say that don't say that that's not nice shh, you shouldn't be saying stuff like that it's rain listen they tell you shh, don't say stuff like that so in my mind in my own self mind i don't see that you know both tell you not to not to say certain things or whatever i feel like you should tell what it is what's really going on what's really happening I feel like I'm talking. <laughs> Listen. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what that came from. So it's a lot of stuff. If y'all go back, maybe about a year or so from from now, whatever. It's a lot of stuff on there that we have talked about. Um, that people are afraid. These are issues that people are afraid to talk about in the pews. So it's whispers in the pew because folks they whisper about it instead of talking about it out loud. That's that's where I, I that was my thought process with whispers in the pews. Folks want to talk about it to their friends and their neighbor or whatever, and this traffic is ridiculous. Um, they want to talk about it to their friends and their neighbors. And nobody want to talk about it over the mic and not bring out the real things that are going on within church. So I called it whispers in the pews. That's where it came from. You know, with wearing clothes, you know, folks look at you some type of way and wearing whatever, you know, whatever color your hair is. They got to look at you some type of way. And folks are just afraid to talk about things that really goes on in church. I'm not that person. I would actually say, hey. You know, and I, I think laughing is, is good. You know, you laugh, laugh at a lot of stuff. It's good for you, for you, and laugh and joke and have a good time, whatever. But you still knowing you love Jesus and you know when to be real. Be serious about his, his work, you know. But at the same time, though, um, that's where I originally got whispers and abuse from. It was just a thought process of just being in church my entire life. And seeing a whole lot of things that don't that happens within church, and I be like, folks, why they don't say nothing about that? And my husband was like, folks, just don't talk about stuff like that. Why? It's really true. It really happens to people. These these are things that are, and everybody is afraid to speak up. They're afraid to talk about real issues that happen in the church. So I came up with whispers and abuse because that's what we doing. We whispering about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So at the, when I first started talking to, you know, whispers in the pews, um, yeah, it was, it was stuff that I was actually thinking about that actually, um, came out, you know, that's, this is what really happens in church. So I know it's one conversation. I don't know if Brown's still on here, but I posted, y'all know the young lady. I don't not, I, I don't know her name, but she's on channel eight, the uh, traffic lady, pretty lady has a, uh, I think she's mixed or whatever, but she's, she's thick or whatever. And she had on a dress that she wore to work and they, they shamed her. Like they went all through Twitter and everything else. And they shamed her. Like what she had on was wrong and she shouldn't be wearing that. And let me get off the freeway. 
Lord is not pleased with this traffic for me. <laughs> uh, but a lot of people shamed her on Facebook about, uh, or Facebook and on Twitter, about what she had on. And I was looking and I was like, what, really, what do she have on? Like, it was just a simple dress and but I know the way that she's built that's what the problem was because the way she built she probably shouldn't have wore that to work and she's all on national TV and she got something like that on on national TV and I'm like well, what was she supposed to put on the sheet <laughs> a tablecloth a curtain like what was she supposed to put on I mean so I've, I've been through that phase I went, I've been through that you shouldn't put that on you shouldn't wear that and you're just like okay so if you buy this same outfit that I have on you wear it and because it's gonna fit a little bit different on me that means I can't wear it at all I'm not saying I'm just saying because the way it, it might fit a little bit tighter than the next thing than you I can't wear it like what am I supposed to wear I can't be cute put on something nice and cute I have to wear a curtain or a sheet or something so anyway we talked about the dress again and it was a whole big thing about that hey cousin how are you it was a whole big thing about what she had on and they felt like what she had on wasn't appropriate for and I was like okay hey Lynn it wasn't it was like uh, she shouldn't wear that but you know if you built a certain type of way why you upset it, it, if she had been sitting down they wouldn't have said a word or if she had been white they probably wouldn't have said anything but because of who she was who she was and she was on national TV I'm gonna find that post when I'm hot to because my phone won't let me do anything um, uh, I'm gonna find that post and I'm gonna I'm a share it again, and y'all get to see the, the comments that people had put out there, and they was trying to find a way. They was out because I put out there, is this appropriate for her to wear to church? And they was like, no, she probably shouldn't wear it at the church. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? I mean, hey, it wasn't to me. It wasn't short. She had something that just fit that fit to her body. Her, ba her body size, her body type. And yeah, they went through her on Facebook. They they shamed her because of what she had on. But I'm going to find it and post again and share it. And you get a chance to see the comments that people have put out there about um, what they said about her not, she shouldn't have been wearing something of that of that magnitude on TV. Or she shouldn't have wore it at all. And my thing is, I just turned around and said, hey, is this appropriate for church? Some people might say no. Well, maybe if she just wore a jacket with it, or maybe she just wore. Hey, me, and my sister been through that. <laughs> it's, it's just like, well, me, you want me to put on the tablecloth? I'm gonna put on the sheet. What you want me to wear a curtain? What you want me to put on? Because yeah, it is. Um, but folks got. But that's some some of the stuff that we talk about. Real issues that actually happen in churches that folks don't like to talk about. So that's why I got whispers in the pews from. Um, yes, it is definitely pouring down, and this traffic is definitely horrible. And I was trying to make it home. I didn't know it was going. I thought it was going to hold off and wait till I got made it to the house, but it didn't. This traffic is not what that is right now at all. And I think that side like it's about to flood a little bit. But um, yeah. So I I share some of the old stuff that we we've discussed before to see um see what y'all think about it so go and like my god's day page god's day just came from me just saying god's morning every day or you know god's evening guys whatever so um that's where that that came from but the whispers in the pews is because folks are scared to talk about real issues that happen in the church and i'm telling you they was shh, don't talk about that don't bring that up shh, you're not supposed to say that why not? <laughs> That's me. That's how I am. I'm just. Hey, Denisha, how are you? Oh, I am. I am. We 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 barely going. We're not even going five. We we're not doing nothing. We're not doing anything. Thank you, dude. But yeah, we're not doing anything. But yeah, people are, people are afraid. We can talk about everything else, but when it comes down to real life issues, that's just like to me. It's just like a preacher that that, that sugarcoats the word like you're afraid to say something because you might lose members you telling the truth i'm trying to figure out where the problem at if you if that's if that's where it is i mean that's just me 
I, maybe somebody else look at it a little bit different, but uh, as long as you're telling the truth. But I, I mean, there's questions that people want to know about it, and nobody want to speak up and won't say, oh, well, yeah, that is what it is. That, that's actually true because um, they're afraid to talk about it. They're afraid to bring it up. And it happens. Well, we're not dealing with real life issues when it comes to church. Are you just fake churching when you go to church, or are you doing real church when you go to church? So you want to know? You got questions? You want to ask? You don't know the answer? Just say, "Hey, I don't know. I'm trying to find. I find out for you, but I don't know." Instead of you just saying, "Oh no, that's the way it is. And you're gonna go to hell if you don't." You know, come on. Most make up stuff. So, just I'm gonna reshare some of the stuff that we talked about that I thought were good conversations for uh, whispers in the pews. Uh, but yeah, if y'all got some questions for me, let me know. Do all the all this sunshine out here? <laughs> it's so nice and pretty. It's so beautiful outside. Um, for those that's been texting or calling, my phone won't let me do nothing. My storage is at its limit. I can't post nothing on Facebook. I can't. Um, read no messages. I know one just asked me that I read her message and I'm so sorry. When I clear this phone out, when I get the opportunity, it is flooded over there. Jesus. I'm not in no truck now. We have to do the work of Jesus today. That's, that's, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we have to do the work of the Lord. This ain't it driving through. <laughs> I know that Jesus, you're doing your work. Do your work. I ain't, that, that's not the point. But I'm talking about this. Listen. The Lord is not pleased with this flood. Oh, I'm getting over. I'm getting over. Let Jesus be a fence all around us. Protection, Lord. Protection. Protection. But um, hopefully I can have my phone back up and running within the next couple of hours or so. Hopefully, hopefully. I've been deleting stuff and it's still not working. So, yeah. I'm trying to get stuff up and going all day. Still ain't working. So, back to what I was saying, telling y'all this morning that uh, the Lord is trying to get Dallas' attention with all this flooding. It's flooding in places they used to then flood in. Um, I'm praying that it don't start healing. Uh, because a lot of places is already flooded and I feel like it just started raining. And then used to then do that. Um, that hell that came through Saturday and it was, went so so much and so the Lord's trying to get our attention and evidently he keeps sending this rain this kind of way, this way like he is, because we're not paying attention to what he's saying. Um, because this, this, this is real. Um, he's not playing. We know he's real. He ain't, he ain't got, and something's going on with or all these killings and murders and shootings and, uh, whatever this weather that don't normally get like this, this, um, this type of rain, this type of flooding, this type of, uh, hailing, uh, all this stuff that's just going on within, just within Dallas. We're not even talking about talking about outside of Dallas. We're just talking about within Dallas. Well, that's Dallas. It's a lot. And since there is a lot going on, he's trying to get our attention, and we just not, we're not paying attention. So, if you don't know who Jesus is, please get to know him. I see sirens now, flashing. If my friends say twinkling lights, I see twinkling lights right now. Um, God bless them. Yeah, I think they got the freeway shut down over here on this other side. God bless them. Um, I pray everyone is okay that's involved in whatever this is on the other side of the freeway. I'm not driving fast at all. Y'all want to go faster than what I'm going? There is other lanes. Yeah, they're making them get off the freeway. So God bless those that I can't see what it is. God bless them, though. Um, but yeah, they. Um, he's definitely trying to get our attention and for some apparent reason, we're not paying attention. We're not seeking this warning. It's been warnings after warnings after warnings after warnings. Uh, 
this year with all this stuff that's happening we know what's happening we know all the craziness that's been going on since before the summer but since before school let out um all you can do is um i feel like you can get you pray and get closer to god um all this bickering and arguing over stuff that means no sense that don't make no sense what you arguing with your sister or your brother for it means nothing it, it is nothing and get 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 over that stuff and move on don't let the sun set and you have not fixed the issues or problems with your brother or your sister if you feel like you don't have a clean slate or a clean heart with somebody call them it's not too late they might not want to hear from you just say hey before you hang up this phone i just want to say this to you it don't have to be a long drawn out speech or or um a big you know monologue or nothing but just to sh just to tell them how you feel and you say you might not forgive me or you might not feel the same way that i feel or i mean you might not feel like i forgave you you but you you clear it clear it up with yourself that way you know well lord i did do my part i fixed it i did my part and they don't have to if they don't accept it move on you did your part just make it right with god for you because you gotta see him for yourself they don't they don't have to see him for you you got they got the, everybody every man if my mom used to say every tub i have to sit on his own bottom so everybody every every tub have to sit on it so you have to speak see god for yourself and if that means that you <laughs> okay sir um if that means that you um they don't want to still don't want to deal with you after after you've done that after you don't fix the situation or whatever on your end that's fine move on don't let that don't don't let that stop you from doing the right thing because you have a clear mind you not you don't even realize because one of my co-workers and i we talked about this last week you don't even realize you stress until something happens and you're just like why was i still holding on to that it's been my supervisor told me the other day his brother-in-law did something to him i think he was trying to fight him and he had a weapon or something and this was 30 years ago you know he's still holding on to that to this day i looked at him friday it was friday he said that i said let that go i'm still mad at him i said why that was 30 years ago let that go i said y'all still a family right yeah but he did this and i and he talked to me like it's over with because he let it go you should too that's all i hold grudges is that good for you you probably got stress around your heart and you don't even know it because you hold on something that happened 30 years ago let it go go to bed with your mind at ease knowing god's gonna watch over you and your family as you slumber and sleep and you don't have no problems nothing is no health nothing health wise you open because my friend she ended up having a stroke she said she had an aneurysm in a stroke and she said she had that she said i didn't even know my i was stressed she didn't know she said they asked me are you stressed she said but this was before i went this is after i went uh this happened to me and she said no i didn't feel like i was stressed and, but she realized after she went through the situation she went through, everybody that was calling her for money and want to want to move in with her, wanted to wanted to um, borrow her car, wanted to do whatever they needed advice from her when she wasn't available because she was dealing with her health issue, she couldn't find nobody. Not one. She couldn't find nobody. All these people she had helped, she had let move in, she had let use her car, she had been there for get for them, giving them advice. Um, be, just being there for him and she said you know what i realized with all of this that i went through i was god to these people so the lord allowed this to happen to me so i can get an eye opener for me she said even though i didn't want to go through that even though i didn't want to i, I didn't want to be that person she said first of all i didn't know my body was stressed but i was taking other people's burdens taking all their issues all their problems because i want to be the person that helped everybody and since i wasn't available to help she said my body had just stressed out and i didn't know it I didn't know it young lady i don't i think this was i think she's 40 she when this happened to her she was like 40 39 40 and she said i didn't know my body was stressed like that she said because when somebody needed somebody to talk to they came to me when somebody needed something from me i was available to do it for them when somebody needed to move in have somewhere to lay their head for a couple of nights they came to me and i just felt like and I realized with me going through what I went, what I just went through, that I was God to these people, and I did not want. And she said well, that was a that was a, a, a eye opener for me. It woke me up because she said, "I um 
I seen that I was God to them. And she said, I even told them, I can't help you right now. She said, even while I was sick, I got a couple of phone calls. And I couldn't even, I wasn't even in my right mind. But I got a couple of uh, phone calls from people. They still wanted to borrow money. She said, I'm not even working. I'm I'm out on leave because I've been sick. Hey, Jonathan. Um, she said, I'm, I'm not even... Um, I can't, I'm not even working right now. I can't let you borrow anything. And they was like, well, can I come and spend a couple of nights? I'm I'm getting health care. Like, somebody's helping me get my body back to the way it was. She said, what I just went through, it could have killed me. And you up here worried about me. And she said, folks was coming to me with their But She said, no, I can't do that. She said, y'all need to go pray. Y'all need to go to God. She said, because I feel myself being God for them. I, I, and that's, I don't want to be God. But I felt like that. And she said, the Lord showed me that with this whole situation that I went through, that I can't, I can't, I'm not going to do his work. She said, but I didn't see that at first. I didn't know I was, my body was stressed out. I didn't know I was this to these people. And now I had to change me. The Lord had to have me go through a situation to where I can be changed, to where I can be a better, go ahead, baby, to where I can be a better person um, for him. She said, because if I started losing my myself, because I'm trying to help everybody else. And I said, oh, okay. Sorry, I I said, okay, I understand. I get that. I get that. But a lot of people don't realize that. that's why I'm saying this little stuff that we can't control, this petty, this petty stuff. We be going back and forth on Facebook and we got to argue. I am you got to have the last say, the last word, man. Come on. Listen. Come on. For what? what, what for what? Who cares about any of that stuff? Because when you 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 can with that person, something happens to that person, you can't say tell them, oh, I'm sorry. It's gonna be too late. And that's gonna hurt you. That's going to bother you because you didn't get a chance to fix the situation before. And it's over something petty. She stole $50 from me. You going to hold on to that? $50? For real? For real? She said I wasn't cute. Well, do you think you're cute? That's all that matter. <laughs> they didn't call my name when they said that I... So what? Do Jesus know your name? That's all that matters. All this extra stuff that we doing is just not... Listen... It's, it's just not worth it but you know i'm just saying enjoy your life enjoy your life but enjoy enjoy good like co the correct way you ain't got to be all of you the center of attention and have to be heard and folks have to know that you man listen and stop lying <laughs> man i told you i one of these days i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a chance to do it one day I'm gonna tell you. One day I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give y'all the, the, the one day. Well, stop lying. Stop lying. Cause folks, folks, when they catch you in your lie, they tell you that they know you lying. Don't get mad at them, cause you know you lying. <laughs> when you tell people, be like, no, that's not even true. You lying. No, I'm not. They get all mad and swole. Oh, now you? No, it's not that. I know you lying. Don't get upset if you don't lie from the jump. Because you know once you lie, you got to cover that lie to go to another lie. You got to cover that lie to go. It's too many lies you got to keep up with. You got to start writing them down and putting a date on it and the time so you won't mess up. That's too much. That's stress. Okay? If you don't lie from the jump, you have nothing to worry about. Tell people the truth. If they, if you got good friends and stuff and they got something, tell them they... Just tell them. Just put all the extra. Now, they don't ask you for relationship advice don't give it to me your relationship is not good don't get them relationship advice and you can't even keep yours together just saying don't don't do that don't offer that up now if they say what you think i should do do you think i should you know change the room to blue instead of yellow you know give your advice then but if you ain't got no dude and you trying to get him advice about they dude i'm not listening to you because you can't keep yours okay um <laughs> i'm sorry i couldn't see y'all which i was ty uh, typing Come on, Mary. It's going to either drive, draw you or drive you. Come on. <laughs> Come on. The rocks are speaking. Seasons all messed up and the time day is never. <laughs> Come on, Jonathan. Yes. <laughs> she might not be cute. Well, I'm just saying, they, they might not be, but you know, folks get a, get upset with you about little bitty stuff, and you just be like, I didn't even know you was mad at me. Why are you mad at me? I didn't even know. Listen, whatever I did to you, I do apologize. Sometimes people do stuff, and they don't even realize that they did it, but you do have deliverers that, that, that deliberately, okay? 
keep doing stuff because and they know they doing it and you got some people that just unaware of what's going on they might they just might not know they just might not know that they um they did something to you but don't hold that against them you just be like did you know that sometimes you just don't know you might just don't know just stop lying i mean man i wish i could tell y'all this Ooh, one of these days i'm gonna tell y'all listen listen one of these days i'm gonna actually tell y'all y'all gonna be like what what in the world folks listen folks will do anything to make themselves look good and they don't care who they bring down with them they don't care if it's if it's their mama they will bring their mama down with them because they do not care what did i come here for y'all made me forget because they just want to make themselves look good i'm gonna tell y'all this story one day i got to hold it for now <laughs> ooh, ooh, when y'all hear it let's know that's not, I'm just saying, I just, they will, I'm serious. They will bring down their mama, they cousin, they can bring down their own spouse trying to prove a point because they like to lie. Stress causes wrinkles. I ain't for it. Come on, Jonathan, I ain't for it. Listen, nobody have time for the stress. Nobody's doing that stress thing. Uh-huh. Hey, Tyrone, what's going on? Stress cause wrinkles, I ain't for it. If you bringing stress and drama, I'm going to need you to stay over there. Come on over there. Come on over there. <laughs> but that kills, that kills me. Uh-huh. Sorry. They do. They lie for nothing. You just like, what you lying for? But what kills me too, Mary, is when you catch them and they lie, they get mad at you. But... It, I read, but I know you lying. So why are you mad at me for me knowing that you? I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Why are you getting mad at me because I caught you in your lie? If you didn't lie from the jump, you wouldn't even be mad at me. If you stop lying, just stop lying. Period. And it won't. You won't even have to worry about any of that. This lying demon is serious. And when you bring other people in your life down, people in your circle down, and then when you need people. And they don't come to rescue you when you need them. That's because you've been lying. Okay? When you when you lie so much, people don't even know. It could be true when you actually need them, but they don't want to come. They don't want to they don't want to help you with what you need because you don't lie so much. Don't lie. Don't lie in your mom and your daddy. For for what? These are people, that, especially when somebody's helping you, they've been there for you, they supported you, they they let you borrow money. They've let you do a whole lot of stuff. And you lie. Listen, we're going to have to listen. Ain't that it? That's that old lying demon. <laughs> Don't got mad and got called out. <laughs> listen. And it can't, I'm, it, I'm really serious. When you catch them on it, they try to think us, uh, uh, when you do this. And I'm sorry, my facial expression shows it all. That's why is when I do when I know stuff be and I give them facial expression. I try not to, but you know you're afraid. You're not supposed. To, listen, if you don't even bring it to me like that, I won't even look like that. But you sit up there deliberately lying, okay? And then when you get called out and you just be like, you know that's not true, right? Like that's not even the truth. Well, uh, uh, and you do all that, uh, you finna lie again. Come on with it. You got to go write them down. You got a journal. Let's write these down. But let me challenge these liars. Stop lying so you won't have to keep writing them down. You know if you lie, write them down. Put a date and a time next to it. So And keep this line book with you. Don't name it. Hey, Felicia, if keep this line journal with you. So when you write it down, what you lied about, I told Uncle Nee Collins that such and such, such and such, put that date next to it and put the time next to it. That way, you keep a page for everybody you lie you lie to. That's where you can you have a reference to go back to it, like the Bible. You write down the scriptures, then you go back and reread them. Go back and get you a line if that's you. If you that lying person, I'm just talking to the people that's lying, not to everybody. But folks that just got a problem with lying, that's something you need to be delivered from. You got a problem with lying? Write them down, okay? Put a date and a time next to it so that. Uh, you can remember these lies because folks going to call you out on it. 
I'm that person. I'm the one that's going to call you out on your lie. Y'all made me forget what else I came here to the store. <laughs> he said, get out of my head. <laughs> get out of my head. Listen, I just can't take it. Because people, they, they for real about this thing, about this lying situation. They think you're supposed to be on board with it and help them. I'm not gonna help you lie. You're not gonna send me to hell with your lie. That's your lie. That keep your own lie. I got my, I got myself together. I'm not gonna do that. Then so now, 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 it, listen, listen, folks. I'm, oof. What's one? Did they bring the price down? Oh, that's a quest. No, we don't want that. We don't want that one. Yeah, these folks that they, that's doing all this lying. And you getting, don't get mad at me. You ask the Lord to help you with that. Don't get mad at me because you that's your problem. But when you get, oof, just write them down so you won't forget. And you have to keep covering yourself over and over again. Just write them down. That way you won't even be, it won't be no problem, no issues. You, But but fess up. If the person say, I, see, I know you lying and you, fe- you go on and fess up. Go on and let that go. Be like, oh, yeah, I was lying about that. And move on. But if you keep doing it, you just be like, what? But what you got to lie for? You know if you leave here today, the Lord going to call you home. If he going to take you on out of here. You know you're going to hear behind that one look. You know they used to say that white lie? It ain't white. Mm-mm. It's wrong. It's, 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 it's bad. But it ain't, it ain't white. No. It's a lie. We used to be, my mama was still alive. I wouldn't even be saying lie, y'all. I, I ain't gonna even lie to look, I ain't gonna even lie to you. <laughs> if my mama was still here, I wouldn't even be saying it because she, um, she ain't play that. She ain't play that. Are you saying lie? Don't you say that. Mama, you do know I'm like grown, grown though. I'm not little no more. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I ain't gonna do that. But yeah, these folks, they, you got to stop. You, if you that person, I'm not saying everybody is, but if you that person, please don't lie. Stop it. Look, you know that's what the old people. Please don't do that, baby. Don't do that. Please don't lie. Don't 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 do that to people. And if you get caught in your life, that's yes, sir. It's like first forty eight. You know, first forty eight, they catch all of them. They sit up there and be trying to, no, but see, Ray Ray them, and then Jimmy them, and then, and then when they get caught, you in worse trouble. Come on, just tell the truth. That way we can all go to the house. We can go home. We, well, you're not going home, but we can all get up out of here. But, yeah, just stop lying, y'all. That's not good. I show sure y'all can. One day I'm going to tell you. I really am going to give y'all that story. I'm really going to give y'all that story. And y'all going to be like, what? Yeah. Absolutely going to give y'all that story. One day said, my hands full, so I got to hold my iPad like this. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, listen. You're right. Don't don't make me start saying that in this in this store. You're gonna have everybody looking and be crazy. Don't have me saying this in this store. That we did used to say that, Jonathan. You know we did. Liars will be running on that crap. Come on. <laughs> you gonna have that song in my head all evening now. Listen, Lyons will be running on that great day. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why. This this is why right here. This is why you my boy. Listen. Listen. Absolutely. Lions will be running on that great day. Listen. That brought back memories right there.
That's so true. Like, it's like, <laughs> what you got? There? But I'm just trying to figure out what you lying for, though. What's the lies be for? To lie for? Where are you going with it? Where is it getting you by you lying? Then you lie on other people and bring them in on it. You got a whole clan for lies. No. We're not available. Mm-mm. Not available for that. Not available for all the foolishness. No. Mm-mm. Just tell every lie you know when they lie. I hope you got your running shoes. They'll get it over. <laughs> Listen. Listen. You know I'm going to start singing that song. As soon as I know they doing it, that's the song. That's the song I'm going to sing. Know that. Know that. Know that when they start lines, you be like, "Oh Lord, I'm about to go on the sign." And they might not know it. They might not know that song. <laughs> Sorry, my hands full, so I'm trying to hold a line. Hello. Too. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, y'all. But Jonathan, you're going to have me laughing at that. Liars will be running on that great day. If they want to lie, they won't even have nothing to do. Well, you don't have more to worry about, but you will. Don't lie, because it's, it's just too much to keep up with by you lying. What you got to you? You're doing too much. You're absolutely doing too much when you got to keep up with two. Get, I'm telling you, these liars, get you a journal and write them down. Put the time and the date on there. Put the time and the date on that lie and who you told it to. That way you you won't get caught. You're going to get caught up in your lie. you definitely going to get caught up in your lie by you lying with. Because you're trying to keep, you got too much you trying to do. And you're trying to prove yourself to people. You know folks will prove themselves to folks. They don't care. I'm telling you, they don't care who they lie about or who they lie to. Trying to get they lie, trying to get their point across. They don't care what what how they use that lie, who it hurt, who makes them it, it, it don't even matter. It's really sad, but it's true. And I know we're joking about it, but I really will sing that song to people that, that Jonathan now that you don't put that in my spirit. Liars will be running on that great day. You know that's an old Pentecostal song. You know we used to kill that every day. <laughs> at the church. We used to sing that. Boy, you you know you don't brought back memories with that one. But yes, definitely will. But if you don't even, if you don't lie, it just kills me because they want they want to bring other people into the lie and you want to keep them lies going. I'm telling you, get your journal, you that liar. That's too much work. That's too much work. That's stress. Cause you just like, oh, what did I tell her the last time? What did I say? What did I say? And you got to keep remembering, and it's too much. It's too much other positive things you can be doing instead of out here trying to keep up with lies and stuff. What are we doing? Why? Why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? The line is is is. <laughs> it's way too much. Mama used to say, "You, if you lie, you cheat. If you cheat, you steal." You know they had that whole whole little thing. It's just it all go together. It all go together. You don't have to lie. Don't lie to me. You're right. Yes, ma'am. You're right. 
but you thinking you're doing good by you just telling it. But when you get so good at it to to where you believe it, you good. Who was that telling me that? Somebody, we just had that conversation. Lady at work. We talked about that today. We was just having that same conversation about somebody. Somebody, when you lie so good, it makes you believe it. You know you lie. You know you a good liar. Well, they say a good liar. They don't make you good. They just make you good at what you're saying, what you're doing. They ain't make, saying that it's okay. But that's what that's what folks do. They 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 lie so good to to them. It's like they not even. Jeez, they not afraid of nothing. When you not even convicted by your lying and you deliberately know these folks is you lying to somebody. Woo, you on a whole nother plane. You on another field. You just deliberately lying. Okay. You think that's going to be all right with Jesus? Okay. <laughs> Jonathan, you already know. Don't act like your mama didn't tell your, your mama said that to you to us you know they all said that if you steal you you'll cheat if you cheat just if you lie <laughs> she don't brought it all out he just raining he out here uh weed eating his yard But yeah, you you right. That's what that's what we don't resort it to. <sighs> yes, these folks that that does that is it's something. It's definitely something. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We couldn't even say lie. I told you, my mama. If she had been still, she'd been gone. Ooh, this month will be 12 years 11 years this 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 month will be 11 years oh i heard thunder that means it's about to start back raining let me get in get on that area um she told him i didn't i think jonathan my mom will probably was gone almost two years before i really started saying lying <laughs> so yeah, she was gone about two years, almost two years before I really started saying line. I couldn't say it. I was still scared, even though she wasn't here no more. She couldn't even hear. She couldn't do. I in my mind. My so you just gonna walk in the middle of the street with your head down? Okay, come on, mother. Come on across the street. Put my seatbelt back on, sis. I wanna keep shining. Um. But yeah, I didn't say lying until she she was probably almost gone by two years before I started saying because we just didn't we just didn't disrespect our parents like that. We just didn't we just didn't say that to them because it was like a it was a cuss word to us. I, yeah, my son tried to listen. He oh yeah, get that together. No, you're not gonna say that. No, mm -mm. no, we we couldn't say it. We couldn't say it. So. When I heard little kids saying it, they five, six, seven, eight years old, and they talking about you lying. Ooh, I just like this. I started clearing. I'm like, your mama let you say that? Yes, ma'am. She let me. Ugh. Don't say that. But can you not say it around me? Because I feel like that's, especially when I don't like, when we couldn't even tell an adult that they was lying. you just like, I can't tell them that they, they not telling my mama the truth. So <laughs> how do I deal with that? Do I say, well, mama, she, she telling stories, but we had to say telling stories or that's not true. We couldn't say lying, so you had to come up with something else. But yeah, you could. But you couldn't. You could never say that an adult was lying. You couldn't say that. So what do you do? So you telling me she lying on you? Well, I, I'm not saying she's saying that word, but she is not telling you the truth. <laughs> she's not telling you the truth. Come on, uh, mother, and get your kids out the out the street so I can part. Mark Mama which that's a big old dog. My mama would try to try to trip me up when I got in trouble at school and be like, as 
So you saying, okay. Who that dog is big? Hold on, I'm gonna reach what you say. They they telling me to come on park. Cause folks is all in the neighborhood children trying to play in the, in the alley. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Y'all thought I was gone? Now I'm trying to back up. Hold on a minute. Um, let me see what you said. My mama would have tried to trip me up when I got in trouble at school and be like, So, you saying your teacher lying? I'd be scared to say yes, but an adult, but an adult lying after a while, I'd be like, Uh, yeah, <laughs> see you all in my head. Look at my coming. We the same thing. Ain't no, ain't no way in the world. I did my son, mama. They down telling you the truth. They tell the story. That's what my kids say now. Don't say lying around me. Even if you saying it, don't you say it around me. Don't say it. I, I'm not tolerating it. And I don't want you to say it to an adult or say an adult is lying. Don't. Ooh, ooh. That burns me up. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to be all in your head. But you know how we, you know how we was. You know our parents. Now these kids don't even care what they say or how they say it and when they say it. Man, listen, listen, listen. Hey, Mr. Andrews, how you doing? Hey, Mr. Flowers, how are you? Yeah, they, 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 that line and you doing all that, I don't understand. We, we shouldn't have to do no, don't, don't lie. Don't lie on nobody, don't lie for nobody. Don't do all that kind of stuff because that stuff turns into you. I'm telling you, you have to keep up with that. And it, it's just too much. When you could just tell the truth, if the person be mad because you're telling the truth, then it is what it is. But don't, don't. Let that be you that be that liar. That ti that title be on you. Be like, they would, and I, I said this before. Folks will walk up on you, be like, yep, they finna come with a lie. Here we go, come on. And then when they walk up on you, girl, let me tell you, and they'll be lying. You just be like, you sure? You know that? You know? No, that's not true. Yeah, it is. And they try to prove it to you. Now you just be like, no, no, that's not true. That's not true. Um, good, Mr. Andrews. Good. Yeah, the fuck I don't understand all the lies. What? It's too much. It's it's just too much work to keep up with the lies, and you. It's just, just don't. If you don't lie from the get go, I know everybody. If there's a sense, everybody doing something. Somebody's doing something. You, like I said this morning, either you thinking wrong, you thought about it, you thought about it, doing something wrong, and you didn't do it. You said something wrong. You, it's some type of, you know, something. But don't. Some labels, I don't give them to me. I don't want them labels. They're lying and stuff. I don't want that. Don't give that to me. I don't want that one. Don't give me that. But all this other stuff that folks is... Yeah, oh, I wish I could tell y'all about it. I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> Please do, Jonathan. Text me and let me know when. And we're going to definitely do it that day. That day, we're going to do it when you when you ready. We are... You sure right. And I and you know what you know what it's about now. You know, we don't hold nothing back. We real, we real. We don't hold nothing back. So you gonna lose a lot of followers and friends. Me too. <laughs> I'm all right with it though, <laughs> because that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. But um, yeah, I gotta go too, cause my I'm I'm home now and I gotta go and check on my husband. Make sure all things is good. I had to stop at the store for him. But, um, yeah, I got to go. Y'all have a blessed rest of y'all night. I will be back on here tomorrow. And um, if y'all got a topic or something y'all want to talk about, send it to me. Inbox me. When I clear my phone out, I'll be able to read it then. I can't I can't do anything on my phone right now. And if y'all y'all remember, if y'all got any kind of uh, concert, anything that's going on, tag me in it or share it with me on my guys' day page. 
and um i um or on my page i share it on my page so other people can see what's going on and then if we can you know support and share somebody or something positive we do positive things over here so anything positive i'm willing to help and share with no problem um but i got to go what you say jonathan you know mine let's do it i'm with it oh, i can't wait i'm so excited about that i cannot wait i cannot wait and you know what else we gonna have to you you really need to meet mm, okay we'll talk about it <laughs> We'll talk about it. But, um, yes, y'all have a blessed rest of y'all night. Um, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Remember, God loves you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Y'all talk, talk to y'all later. Bye.